Hey everybody, I'm your man Tonka. In this Tonka Tactical video, what I'm going to talk about is my 2023 MagFed loadout. And you know what? If you ask me, this loadout is the best loadout that I've ever had. And when you watch this video, I think you're going to agree. So if you're ready, let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk about my 2023 MagFed loadout. I'm really, really excited to talk about this because, in my opinion, this is the best loadout that I've ever had. And like I said before, once you watch this, watch this video, you'll probably think the same way. But uh, anyways, before I go on, let me make a couple of really, really cool announcements. Number one, I have created a whole line of paintball logo-inspired apparel, as you can see, like this and my hoodie that I had before. And... Um, if you haven't checked it out, please check it out because, I, actually before I go on, I just want to thank everybody that has purchased off our site. When I launched this site, I, I don't know, a couple months ago, the sales have been outstanding and uh, really, really means a lot to me because number one, we're able to share paintball with the world, make tell everybody about paintball, and also a part of the proceeds that is made from the sales is being put back into the paintball community so that we can buy more new markers for more new players so we can really expand our uh, community and expand our sport. So thank you so much. And if you haven't already been there, check it out. It's TonkaTactical.com. Everything that is on that site right now is on sale and we're offering free shipping as well. So please check us out. And also, we just created these MagFed paintball patches and uh, and also have this one as well. My of course, my Tonka Tactical patch. And what I'm going to do for two lucky winners, I'm going to show you how you can win these. Uh, and I'll mail these out to you. Just watch until the end of the video, and I'll tell you how you can win these. And, uh, yeah, chances are, though, realistically, I'll probably give out more than two. So, uh, But, again, like I said, I'll, I'll show you how you can win these. So if you haven't already checked, check out TonkaTactical.com. Now, one last thing, and I want to be completely, Completely, completely transparent. I am a sponsored player by both Carbon and Planet Eclipse. But I want you to understand that they did not come to me to be sponsors or ask me to represent them. In the actually, in the opposite is I went to them. And the reason why I went to them is because, in my opinion, they have the best by far equipment on the market today and I really wanted to represent them. So I approached them, they agreed, and so I have their equipment. So um, again, they didn't approach me. There is no bias, it's just the fact that I like their equipment. And, uh, and I'll give you a bit of a history, and I'll do a review video of the stuff later on. But I just want to be that, I just want to be completely transparent about that. But anyways, let's carry on. So, this is the EMF 100. now. If you've watched my previous videos or see me on the PayPal podcast, the marker that I always wanted after my M17, which is my original MagFed marker, was the T15. But as you can see, I went with the EMF because of the reliability, the maintenance, everything was completely on point. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to, if, listen, I'm not going to do a review video. If you want to see my review video, of this marker it's right here i'll have all the links in the description below so just check it out but i will kind of cover a couple things that i'm running with on this marker number one is my one point sling from uh, kill house fantastic this thing is very very durable and where is attached onto my marker here i actually got this from uh, this ring actually from amazon i believe it was amazon i paid like i don't even know 10 bucks or something like that, maybe 15 bucks. The scope that I have here is a red dot. And actually, as you can see, as you can see, it says Bushnell. Okay. This is not actually a Bushnell scope. I think it's just an imitation that I actually got from Wish, probably like, I don't even know, maybe five, six years ago. But it works perfectly and uh, I love it. Okay. Now, someone asked me, actually, actually, they went on to my website and they asked me, I don't know how, why they went to my website to ask me. But uh, they asked me what this was, okay? So I tried to respond to them, but I couldn't find their email or whatever. But anyways, what this is, is just a lens protector. It's a lens protector, so if a paintball hits the lens, 
it does not hit, or the protector, it does not hit my lens and crack the lens. So this is, it has a certain amount of give to it, obviously. The ball hits it, reflects off, and you preserve the lens of your, of your scope. I highly recommend it, especially if you're running first strikes, you're playing with guys that are playing with first strikes. This will protect your lens or, or your camera or anything of that nature. The other thing I run with is my imitation GoPro. It's not a GoPro. I got this from Amazon or maybe even Staples. I paid like 40, 50 bucks for it. My other camera is like a zoom cam. It is by Tacticam. This, ca this camera is outstanding. I actually were, was using this. I have what's called a film through scope, which what happens, you have this apparatus that attaches onto your scope, and then you put the camera into that apparatus. So what it does, it actually films exactly what I see through my scope. But for whatever reason, I don't know what it was. I couldn't properly set it up. It was, I don't know, it was just the image wasn't coming out really, really good. And that's probably more my fault than anything else. So I scrapped it, and then I ended up just tying it on to my barrel with uh, some zip ties. But the camera is exceptional, okay? And also, a big shout out to my man, Trouble, okay? Who made this uh, barrel plug for me, 3D printed barrel plug of a Tonka tactical uh, Tonka truck. So if you want him, he'll make it. I don't I remember how much I paid for it, but obviously it was very reasonable. Again, the link is in the description. Now, listen, the EMF by its very nature is an exceptional, exceptional marker. And what they did was they made this, they just took it to the next level. And they took the marker to the next level because, hopefully that'll stay up. I'll just lay it down like that. They created the S63 barrel kit. And the cool thing is, this barrel kit has a tactical barrel. There's a 14, has a smaller barrel, which I'll take off in a second. And most importantly, even cooler, they created these rifled barrels. Now, I have a review video, which you can see right over here, where I talk about how effective this is. I hold a whole demonstration on it and stuff like that. And they have these, this bore kit as well for round ball. And I tell you, if you play a lot of CQB, which I do, at a place, I play at a place called PRZ, as you probably already know, this really shortens up this marker here and makes it really, really basically low profile, which I'll show it to you in a second. Actually, I'll show it to you now. Let me take this off. So basically, this slips off. Here's the 14-inch barrel. Now, this 14-inch barrel, they also, you can also slip in the rifle barrel for your first strikes into this one in here, which I shall show you right here, which is this guy right here. You just screw it off, okay? It screws off like this, and there's different sizes of rifle barrels, and it just slips in, out like that. I think I just drooled. <laughs> but anyway, the reason why you screw it in is because with the fins of the, rifle, uh, of the first strike round, as it spins through the rifle barrel, if you don't lock this in place, this might have a tendency of rotating, so it takes away the effectiveness or the efficiency of the first strike round. So all you do is slip it in here, twist it in, like this. This is really cool. And all you do, I'll show you the size difference right now. There's a size difference right there. Okay, like that. Actually, it's like that. Okay, because here's the insert right here. So that's the size difference right here. So it really shortens it up. So when you're playing CQB, man, it makes your gun real, real tight, man. So anyways, stick it in. And look, what the hell? There we go. I don't know what the hell just happened there. Maybe I was having a stroke or something like that. I don't even know. But anyways, they call it a tactical barrel because... For tactical reasons, it makes it nice and small. See, nice and short. Perfect for going around corners, going down, going down hallways, taking over rooms. Makes it real, real short, man. I love this thing. And the accuracy, again, check out my video. Again, it's right here. Again, the link is in the description. Check out the video. The longer barrel and the tactical barrel, their, their precision or accuracy is pretty much on point. It's pretty much the same. I think, and again, I, I had some errors in the in the um, in the video in the sense that 
I didn't have this harness or, or, or locked down, so there's a bit of deviation with my shoulder and stuff like that as I was shooting. But I found that this longer belt was just a bit more accurate than this. But again, there were errors in that testing, and that is simply that I was holding the marker up with myself as opposed to having it locked in a stabilized, stabilized position. But anyways, that is the... And this is why I mostly run with right now, by the way. I love this thing. So anyways, that's the S3, S63 barrel kit, tactical barrel kit. It's phenomenal, so check it out. And you know what? All this stuff here you can buy from my uh, sponsors right here, which is Tactical Sports in Barrie and Tier 1 Armament Store, which is a mag-fed store. It's completely online. And also, make this uh, announcement because I'm going to talk about it in a second. If you're into MCS gear, which I love their stuff, you can buy it from Tier 1 Armament Store directly, and you actually get a cheaper price than if you buy it from MCS, their website, directly. So if you're in Canada, check out Tier 1 Armament Store. So, the next thing is the carbon mask here. I have, man, I, I, I can't tell you. This is the um, Carbon Zero Pro Mask. It is brilliant. Now, let me kind of give you a brief history, like two second here. I had never heard about this company, but when I went to Foley Gap, when I played in Foley Gap in North Carolina last year in November, I was going through the stands and stuff like that, checking out the equipment they were selling, and I came across this mask. Again, I had never heard of carbon. If you pick up this mask, first of all, it is a fantastic mask. I mean, check it out. It's the coolest thing ever, right? Just the look of it is amazing. But I'll tell you, when I picked it up, like I have a lot of masks. This thing is like featherweight. There's actually no weight to this whatsoever. The other thing is this. What I found, and actually when I talked to Carbon, whatever, a couple months, three months after I left, um, maybe two months after North Carolina, I was talking to them, and one of the things that they pride themselves on is the breathability of this mask. The vents are amazing. And I'll tell you, when you're running up hills or whatever, or taking a charge, one of the big things is that when you wear these masks, not necessarily this one, of course, but when you're, I have my other mask, I find it hard to suck in enough air. But one of the things with this, the breathability is outstanding. When you're sucking back air, it's not even like you're wearing a mask, wearing this mask right here. It's just the breathability, like I said, is exceptional. And it's so lightweight. Now, like I said, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'll have a review video. But uh, this is, an, oh, the other thing is, which I haven't gotten yet. They're going to be sending it to me. It was really humid in uh, North Carolina, and my mask was fogging up. I never got an X fog because I just, I don't know, I just didn't get one for my mask that I had. Actually, the reason why I didn't get it is because I had my camera up here. But Carbon has an X fog itself, which is very, very streamlined. It is like, you, you hardly even know. It's like a little bump in your mask, and uh, it works beautifully. So I have the Carbon mask. This is a smoke color. Now, so that's my mask. And uh, that's my marker. So let me go on and talk about my rig. All right, so my rig is pretty much the exact same rig. Oh, actually, I, I'm going to talk. I don't have it here, but I'm going to show you something else. I'll talk about something else in a second that's going to make this even more streamlined or the way I run more streamlined. But this is my old rig right here that I, I freaking absolutely love. And um, nothing's changed except... I now use EMF mags. Before I was using M17 mags, but these fit right in perfectly. Uh, I had to not modify any of the, the holsters or anything of that nature. The only thing that I did add on to this was these new Kydex mags, right? These mag holsters right here. I've always wanted a Kydex. I've had Kydex before and they suck. In fact, my marker, uh, sorry, my, my secondary holster, I had a Kydex before. I'll show you this one in a second. And it sucked. When I'd be running around and diving through windows, diving behind bunkers, my mags would just fly out. So I had to run, grab it, and I swore off Kydex. But, again, when I went down to North Carolina at Folder Gap, um, this guy came up to me, and he manufactures uh, holsters. And he said, Talkie, can you do me a favor? I go, yeah. He says, I, I manufacture these holsters, these Kydex holsters. I was like, ah, shit, I don't know. Anyways, he came up and he said, Richard, would you do an honest review of my holsters? And I said, okay, Greg, no worries. I'll do it. But I told him, listen, I'm going to tell you 
I'm going to reveal the truth. Whether it's good, bad, or ugly, I'm going to say the truth. He said, yeah, yeah, please do. So anyways, the review video is right over here. And um, these, these uh, Greg's Gears holsters are phenomenal. Are phenomenal. The best holsters that I've ever had, okay? And again, I'm not, I'm not, a spo I'm not sponsored by him in any way. You know what? I just love his gear. A lot of my Facebook members have bought his, his gear. But the cool thing is this. Number one, as you can see when I was trying to grab it out, it is quite snug. Like, it's quite, oh, there we go. It's quite snug. I have to use a fair bit of force to pull it out. I can tighten it up. But also, I'm gonna, I want you to hear this. What makes these really, really secure, and again, like I run around diving through windows and diving buggers, these, these mags are not flying out because there's a bit of a, watch, there's a bit of a locking mechanism in here. If you listen closely, hold it up here. Here it locks in, hear that click? It locks it right in, so it keeps it nice and stable. So you can run around, you don't have to worry about your, um, your mags flying out. And also, actually in the previous video, I talked about this holster right here for my, um, my Tipex, my extended mag. And I talked about the um, connection to the Molly. Well, he has a enhanced or better quality version, which I'll show you right here. Let me just pull the mag out. And it's right here. These clips right here, they lock in much, much better, and they're much more durable. And all you have to do is just clip it up. It lifts up like that. As you can see, it's really rigid in here, so it's really, really solid. Like This is not shaking whatsoever. You slip it into the Molly, and all you do is clip it back in and lock it up. And it locks in nice and securely. Phenomenal. Really, really good quality stuff. So if you're interested, go check out Gear, uh, Greg's Gears Holsters. Again, the link is in the description. And I love these things, man. Phenomenal. Nice and streamlined. And the cool thing is, when you're running and gunning, and you're changing mags, you just pull it out. You can, it just slips in. You don't even have to worry about it. You don't have to fumble. It goes right in, locks it right in place. So check it out. Greg's Gears Holsters. Phenomenal stuff. I'll throw that right here. Now, I also want to talk about, as you know, I generally run with sleeves. And the reason why I run with sleeves is because I have a bunch of... Um, a bunch of scars from the first like rounds. I got not a bunch. I got a couple, right? So I always wear sleeves. And before I using these previous sleeves, which I should have brought through over there, these SA sleeves, and they were good. They were really, really thin, and uh, gave me some certain degree of protection. And then when I contacted um, Carbon to ask if I could be a sponsor, checking out their website, and they had their own sleeves, which they had these padding pads. I said, shit, I gotta get these. <laughs> I gotta get. I gotta talk to them. I gotta ask if I can also if they could hook me up with uh, the sleeves, and they did. But they took it a bit, took it a step further, and they gave me the SC Pro Top. Okay, I won't take it off. I'll, I'll show you a video of what it looks like here. The cool thing is, is that it's very, very streamlined. It's moisture wicking, and they have these really streamlined hard pads, so I can dive around and never have to worry about banging up my um, my uh, my elbows. And the cool thing is. Is when um, they gave me gave me the top here. I asked like, what's so great about it? Because I just like the sleeves and how streamlined it was and the padding. And they said it's moisture wicking, and they said it's absolutely phenomenal in hot, humid temperature. It keeps you really cold. So when you're wearing all black like I do, any little bit helps. So uh, I haven't tested in really hot weather yet because obviously the season. It hasn't really started. It's going to be starting next month for the most part. So I'll really give it a test then. But uh, I love it. It's phenomenal. And I love these thumb holes because, as you can see now, I run with full gloves. Okay? Now, the reason why I run with – actually, let me kind of take a step back. Before, if you watched my other um, loadout video from, whatever, I don't know, three years ago, I had uh, – the tips of my, my gloves, the fingerless tips there or whatever. I don't even know what you call it now. But anyways, my fingers were exposed, right? And the reason why I had my finger, the way I wore those, wore those gloves was simply because I like the feel of my fingers actually on the trigger. But man, I tell you, and again, I'm not trying to sound like a whim. Although I said that, I think, in my last video as well. <laughs> so it's kind of giving me a bad appearance, but I'm not a whim. But man, if you ever ever uh, been shot in the fingers with a first strike round, it freaking kills, man. So I, I got shot a number of times. I said, screw that. 
So I got these uh, gloves here, and they're freaking outstanding. So much protection. Full Again, you can get these from this, my sponsors below here. But I can feel the trigger, no problems. They're very, very sensitive. And most importantly, they're really, really protective to my hands. So uh, my recommendation, don't run without gloves. And uh, if you can, get full protection gloves here because uh, your fingers will love it. I'm a doctor, so I need my fingers. So uh, any kind of protection, I'll run with. Also, my sidearm right here. Now, I got this holster from MCS. But before I go and talk about my holster, my tip -X. I love this tip -X. You know, I have pretty much all of the markers that you can, uh, sorry, sidearms, pistols that you can get. The only one I don't have is the Glock. But this is the best marker, in my opinion. Has a full strike, uh, sorry, first strike breach back in there, if you can see that. I'll point it right there. So first strike compatible with a rifle barrel. I use a hammerhead on this one here. And it is phenomenal. The reason why I like Tipex is number one, the durability. Tipman products, by and large, are very, very durable. And also, you have the extended mag, which is right. I'm going to have to yank it off. There we go. This guy right here, okay? You have the extended mag. Whereas, on my other one here, the small mags only hold seven rounds. So this one I have, I always, I have two mags. I have my, two, my extended mag already locked into my, my handle here and also on my, on my rig, okay? So when I take over a bunker or whatever, I have a bunch of rounds. Whereas, you know, FSC has an extended mag, but my understanding is not very reliable, and that's why most people love the smaller seven-round mag or eight-round mag that they have for FSC. But the, my tip X, so, so reliable. I've, tra I've tried this thing so many times, and... Uh, it never fails. I've had a couple of uh, ball jams off, obviously. That is one of the biggest issues. And, um, yeah, whatever, man. Anyways, so that's what I run with. Now, my holster that I have here, I have a review of this as well from MCS. I'll have the link, the image right here of my thumbnail. And again, in the description below. But I'll tell you, I've had a bunch of different mags for my uh, Tipex. They all sucked. They all sucked. I had a Kydex one that I ordered from MCS. I talked to the guy. I go, listen, buddy. Will this? Will my marker fly out? Will it fly out if I'm running? I said, no, no, no. It should be all good. It should be all good. What happened? Fucking the thing flies out of my hand. Oh, sorry. Flies out of the holster when I'm running. I'm running, get it. I was like, shit, buddy. Anyways, then they came out with this new one, which actually has a locking mechanism in here. And it is phenomenal never once has my marker ever flown out whether i'm diving running or whatever it locks it nice and secure and the cool thing is i had mentioned in the review video as well that when i press this trigger here and i pull out my marker my finger is just off the trigger for safety so it's it's great and it's being held together or attached to my leg with my leg drop which is blackhawk blackhawk Great, great leg drop right here. And here, I just used my other leg drop here for my two smaller Tip X mags. So, uh, yeah, I think that's all. I think that's all it is. Now, I also have knee pads here. And knee pads, the knee pads are just like uh, I think they're rollerblade knee pads, but they're cheap. They do their job. They hold in place, and uh, I've never had an issue with them. So that's it. That is my 2023 MagFed loadout, and like I said, it is phenomenal. From the mask, the marker, the barrel kit, the rig, everything is nice and easy accessible. I can run. Now, it may look like my rig is heavy, but it's actually really, really light, which leads me to the next thing. Now, Carbon created a mag belt for the tip, sorry, for the... Um, Where's my mag? Oh, there. Sorry, over here. For the EMF mags. Now, they were supposed to send it to me, but they ran out. Apparently, they're selling really, really fast. Apparently, they're really, really good. So, as soon as they come back or come back into the, their, their store, they're going to send it off to me. And the cool thing is, it's just like a pod pack belt for mags, and it just lines up in the back.
just like this. I don't even know how many it holds. I think it may hold like 10 mags, but it's really, really streamlined. It's just a belt that you put on and you pull your mags out, load them in when you need them. So you don't have to wear the entire rig. So I'm gonna try it out and uh, let's see how it runs. Like I said, I'll probably get that. I'm gonna contact him later. I guess later today, find out what the ETA is on that. And uh, I'll create a whole new um, review video on carbon stuff and tell you what my honest, obviously my honest thoughts are. But right now, the mask, the, the, the top is phenomenal. So listen, thank you so much for watching. And also, I almost forgot about these guys here. If you want to win these patches, the MagFed patch, and of course, I'll mail out my Tonka Tactical patch as well. All you have to do is like and subscribe to the video, and most importantly, comment below. Let me know what kind of gameplay you, you play. Is it MagFed? Is it Hopper? Is it Speedball? And also, what mark are you run with? I'd love to know your thoughts. And uh, you know what? Also, comment on my video. Tell me if you like it or you don't like it, how I can improve it, what you run with. Just leave a comment. I read every comment. I pretty much respond to every comment. And uh, listen, thank you so much. And if you haven't already, check out my website, TonkaTactical.com, and also my sponsors below. They're fantastic, fantastic people. They have like the best prices on the market, the best prices, the lowest prices, and uh, they're just a bunch of great guys. Anyways, thank you so much. We'll see you on the next video. Talk out.